Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the channel and yes, my second upload of today, a bit of a continuation of course from the Steve Wraith video this morning. I mean, I think the example obviously I gave in that video, I think it just sums this video up in general. Uh, for me, this is the most embarrassing season to ever be a Newcastle United fan, both on the pitch and fucking off the pitch, it's an absolute disgrace. I just want to sort of rant about this in this video guys, I'm just that pissed off today, I just want to get my video out there and just speak my mind I guess, speak my thoughts but... Again, though, guys, if you're new to the channel, appreciate your support as always. You know, feel free to subscribe, smash that button, enjoy. Uh, obviously, like I said, you know, cheers, support means the world to me. But yeah, uh, I'm going to quickly talk about obviously my video this morning because I've been a couple of updates since. Pretty much, uh, Kendall and uh, Samantha, two of the girls that are on, of course, Steve Wraith's uh, Monday night show, have left the show. That, that's how disgusted they were at the interview. They have generally went, you know what, I don't want to be associated with this channel anymore. I've decided to leave. And people can agree or disagree with to think that's right. But it's not about what's right and what's wrong. Um, and in terms of Steve, you know, I said, um, I, I know I'll be ready for this interview. I'll see how things go. But obviously, Tommy Robinson's put a video out on Twitter today and he's associated himself with Newcastle fans now. And that's when it becomes a fucking problem. I generally think the next day or two, the actual club itself will come out with a statement. Like, I really think that's the sort of level this is getting at. Newcastle will come out and say, at some point in a club statement, we don't associate ourselves with Steve Rape, we've got nothing to do with Tommy Robinson, this club isn't agree with him. They'll say something like that. I promise you, right, next couple of days, I genuinely think there's going to be a club statement. That's the sort of level at right now. It is absolutely mental. I've never, ever seen this before from any Newcastle channel. And people can say what they want about Tommy Robinson. Um, the guys are racist, as simple as that. A lot of people disagree with me that in my last video. I just shut up. I I'm not even prepared to go into it. It's an absolute farce how many people like Tommy Robinson. It's, it's really hard. It's triggered me. Uh, but that's what I'm going to leave it in terms of that situation. I, I don't want to dwell on it too much. I already made my video on it. Um, I don't agree with Steve Ray one bit, but I'm not going to bash the guy. You know, I, I still will wait to see how the interview is, but I'll be honest, I, I think the interview is going to be an absolute shambles. But listen, uh, that's what I want to say. Maybe get my update out of the way, but it links well with this video because it just sums the cast United off the pitch. Um, yes, you know, in terms of this case, it's got nothing to do with the club, but it's just embarrassing. It, it really is embarrassing. Content creators like me, you know, uh, I don't want to try and make this about me, but listen, we put YouTube videos out there. Yes, I react to a lot of shit in the channel, but this is a content creator I like, so this is something that's obviously, even though in this case it's a podcast, nothing to do with the Castanated, but he's still a high figure. And when obviously Tommy Robinson himself comes out and talks about the Castanated, that's when it gets us involved and that's when it becomes a bit serious. And, uh, yeah, I, I I don't I, I don't want to say something I regret, but I really am disgusted. I, I'll be honest. Um, I, I don't know what else to say. I, I really am embarrassed to be a Newcastle fan. Let's talk about the fuckers on the pitch. Then we we'll come um, come once again them off the pitch. I mean, on the pitch, right? This is a team that's won two in the last twenty games. We've got an owner that couldn't give a fuck. He's in Dubai. God knows what he's doing. He's probably on holiday. I bet he doesn't know we lost three to Brighton. Steve Bruce, right? He's given up. Uh, the guy refuses to leave because he wants his four million pounds for getting sacked. The players are fucking literally calling Steve Bruce a coward. There's bust-ups going on the club. Journalists like Craig Cobb are on the club's back. I mean, it's absolutely unbelievable. How are we a Premier League club? It is a disgrace. I've, I've had enough of it. I've fucking had enough of it. If we get relegated, do I think things are changing? No. I think this club is generally fucked for the next few years. I really think it is. In terms of change of ownership, it's just, it's just a downward spiral of shit at the club. From the top to the bottom, it's all a fucking scandal. And I've had enough of it. I've, I've, I've had enough of Newcastle fans over the last decade getting shafted. We continue to get shitted on. And all our football fans, including clowns like we refer to, pundits, right? Ex-footballers, every single day, targeting Newcastle fans. It's a fucking disgrace. I've had enough of it. Everywhere you go, right, there's some cunt this shitting on this club. I've had enough of it. It's honestly, it's got me to a point now. I'm just, I'm just, I don't know what to do anymore. I'm reacting to this shit every single day now, and I, I, I don't know what else to do, guys. We're in lockdown right now. I can't do all our vlogs, you know. I'm stuck to react to stuff online. That's just what I've got to do until, uh, obviously, restrictions uh, ease, or ease up. But uh, I just, I don't know. It's absolutely mental. Um, it's just a joke. It really is a joke. Um, football fans, I mean, uh, every every football fan's got horrible people, but, I mean, in Newcastle's case this season, uh, Twitter is a good example for this toxic. Uh, a lot of people disagree with each other and a lot of people, of course, name calling each other. I'll be honest, some of the people that defend Tony Robson that have name called some of them. It's just it's just stupid. Uh, that's how much I got pissed off by them. But in terms of everyone, everyone's been going at each other's throat on Twitter. And uh, 
Yeah, I mean, as Newcastle fan, I, I, I'm just trying to imagine, mate, like, I, like, a fan of a Noah club sort of looking down on us, like, imagine what their reaction would be, seeing all this stuff going on, it's unbelievable, like, this, this across the board throughout, like, the entire league would be a disgrace, never mind one fucking club, it's a, it's a joke, it is honestly a joke, and, uh, I, I don't know what to say, guys, I, I don't know what people want me to say, like, I, I can't give positive thoughts towards this club, I've said all season long, this club is too good to go down. The players have got, they're just too good. And look where we are. We have got a fucking better chance of going down than Fulham. Based on how we're playing it, it's an absolute disgrace. And unfortunately, it's just the shit spiraling off the pitch as well. Of course, like I've said about content creators. I mean, in general, it's just a joke. And uh, will things change when football, uh, obviously football fans go back to the games? Yeah, I think it will a little bit. Because, you know, people can get you go outside. For example, people like me, you know, I'll not be reacting as much, you know, where... It will ease up a little bit, but really, though, uh, it's it's a joke. Uh, we deserve to get relegated this season. There's no question about it. Well, I'd be devastated if we get relegated. You bet your also will be because it's just unacceptable. But if we go down this season, we deserve it. We really do. Um, everyone at the club, on and off the pitch, it's just a joke. It really is a joke. One positive I will say is um, obviously Newcastle fans TV and uh, a lot of celebrities, of course, are getting together tomorrow for the mental health sort of discussion thing. Fair play. Thank fuck that's turned around the corner because otherwise we've had an absolutely shocking week. But uh, thankfully that's that's about the only positive I can really give about the fan base this week. But yeah, um, in terms of Newcastle fan, this is the most embarrassed I've ever been. Uh, I really am disgusted. Um, people might just think I'm trying to, I don't know, Try to put pressure on Steve Wraith, maybe, but it's just, it's not just him. It's everything to do with Newcastle. It's, it really is embarrassing. And, uh, yeah, I'm in my own opinion, just anyone else's, and that's just how I feel. I'm sorry, guys, if uh, anyone thinks otherwise, but, yeah, let me know your thoughts down below. Get end it here. I I'm just pissed off, guys. It's not, not an not uplifting video, but, listen, I appreciate your support anyway, though. Hopefully, obviously, tomorrow, whenever I next upload, uh, the spirit will be a bit better, but in terms of tonight, I'm just not in the mood at all. I really am, but, Take care, guys, and uh, yes, I'll see you on the next one.